Well, welcome back. We have a weather alert. I do want to show you this severe thunderstorm. Now we don't have a warning with this, but it's producing a lot of heavy rain and lightning, and this has really developed over the last hour or so. We've been tracking it. It kind of started west of Sherwood. I've been posted on social media, but since it's moved to the east, it's really picked up a little bit of steam, kind of a powder keg of a, of a cell right here, and a lot of lightning and thunder with it. So best advice, at least right now, if you have the option to maybe stay indoors for a little while and leave a little bit later, you might want to do that because this is going to eventually uh, travel to the east, which will free up uh, your time here in the morning. But if you do have to get out now, I suggest moving a lot slower because again, this is going to produce some heavy rain. It is traveling to the east, likely going to approach areas of the Portland metro area here shortly in about the next 20 minutes. That goes for Lake Oswego. Interstate 5 is likely going to be very wet and all the other major roads, 217. So you're going to have to probably drive a little bit slower with uh, the heavy rain and the water likely pushing on the road. Roads. All right, Milwaukee right now you're dry. Everything uh, east of the Willamette River is OK at this time. 205, no issues there. But eventually, if this all stays together and I expect it to, it's going to lose a lot of energy here over the next half an hour. But it should stay together long enough to really bring in some heavy rain for areas of Portland and off to the east. Now, I do have reports that uh, there is no power outages right now yet. But as you've seen over the last half an hour here at COIN, we've had some surges and we've had that go flickering on and off. So uh, this is something again we will track through the morning. I'll have updates on social media as well. Here's 641. So if you have plans to get out here in the next 10 to 20 minutes, again, Interstate 5 expected to be wet. We have some lightning issues going on. Best advice if you can just stay indoors for a little bit. It will eventually pass to the east and free things up for you folks west of the Willamette. But at least for the next 20 minutes or so, I expect that thunderstorm uh, to kind of stay together right here in Portland. All morning, central and eastern Oregon have been uh, lighting up with some thunderstorms the, uh, themselves. Now, we haven't had any severe thunderstorm warnings. I do want to stress that, but these are packing quite the punch. We do have some heavy rain and that lightning uh, off to the east areas of Pendleton. This is traveling to the east. Now, all this right here, it should slow down as we go through the morning hours, especially here in the Willamette Valley. This is likely going to be the one cell that kind of stays together uh, through the morning hours and once this does move off to the east it kind of takes some of that energy along with it I don't expect more to develop here in the valley that isn't the case though for central and eastern Oregon you will likely have some more showers and thunderstorms through the morning hours I was showing this it was actually at 623 so it's a bit old here but you could see the heavy rain that was near areas of shoreward this is on 99w there and uh, the roads are very wet uh, that might slow things down we'll check with Carly here in just one second and then you could see the rain this is heavy rain uh, that water on the roads here at McDonald's so this is a very wet section too and this is what you can expect likely in areas of Portland uh, as this storm does uh, push on through here shortly. The thunderstorm threat for today, well, although it's not showing us here in the Willamette Valley for this morning, we still have that cell. Once that passes, we are in the clear, uh, but this afternoon areas of eastern Oregon and central Oregon will be dealing with more thunderstorm development. So let me break down the hour by hour for you as we go through the morning hours. I have us overcast a chance for some showers, uh, but as early as maybe 10 a.m. 12 p.m. Uh, I don't expect any more rain threat for us here because that system should be far enough to the east. It'll take everything along with it. Uh, temperatures warming up to about 73 degrees today, uh, kind of a mild afternoon for our first uh, day of summer. We're kind of starting off with a bang right now here in uh, areas of Portland. We're looking off to the west. You can see those clouds kind of thick. Here's your weather headlines. We're going to be about 20 degrees cooler today. Uh, we topped off today, uh, uh, yesterday I should say, at 95 degrees. We're going to be somewhere about 73 as I mentioned, so it's going to feel much cooler today. Central and eastern section of the state, uh, you know, at least here in Oregon, I expect some more thunderstorms as we go through the morning into the afternoon, eventually calming down uh, probably late afternoon into the evening hours and then we're warming up for the weekend. Uh, we're going to see those temperatures back into the 80s right now. If you're waking up, yeah, 60 degrees, but it's going to be that heavy rain that you're going to be dealing with in this section of uh, the Portland metro area, at least those neighborhoods to the west of Portland and then eventually sliding to the east right now. 63 in Portland and Oregon City at 58 degrees. Your coastal forecast for today, 60s, mostly cloudy, maybe some drizzle, but I expect it to be mainly dry. So we have summer break now. A lot of kids off. I know you're going to be traveling through the state. If you're going out to the coast today, that's what you can expect. Back here in the valley, temperatures in the 70s, a little bit warmer off to the south. But as I mentioned, about 20 degrees cooler 
than yesterday. We'll call it 80s there for Madras and Ben. A chance for some morning thunderstorms and likely part of the afternoon. It's going to be a little windy, some rain, and potentially some hail. And as uh, we've already seen, some lightning. In the gorge, temperatures in the 70s. Government camp about 65. Some decreasing clouds. More sunshine for the afternoon once this system does depart. All right, your seven day forecast. Get you prepared for the weekend. 80 degrees, 85 on Sunday, Monday at 70, and Tuesday at 76. Uh, Carly, you mentioned your husband heard all that thunder. Yeah. And she said it was pretty he vicious. He said it was the scariest thunder he's ever heard, which I find hard to believe because we lived in Texas for, for a, a number while. of years yeah. and there were big thunderstorms there. But he said it shook the house. And then I'm noticing a lot of friends on social media posting that they didn't need an alarm this morning.